NASCAR in chaos after NASCAR driver in hospital after tragic accident. Since 2023's beginning, it appears that the NASCAR community has been dealing with a string of unfavorable news. The past couple of weeks have been trying, whether it was because of Ken Block's snowmobile tragedy or Robert Pierce's passing. And now, another piece of tragic news regarding the ski tragedy involving Michael Leek Mullen a NASCAR Whelan Euro Series driver is upsetting the followers. What happens next? Let's find out. Hello NASCAR fam and welcome back to NASCAR Live. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel and please hit the like button. And let's begin. Bleeka Mullen suffered injuries in a skiing mishap on the slopes, according to the reports provided by Race Planet. The former Formula One driver, who is currently being treated in an Austrian hospital, lost consciousness for more than 30 minutes as a result of the accident. To get to the hospital, a helicopter was needed to transport the 73-year-old driver. The impact of his crash on the ski hill caused him to suffer four broken ribs, a broken shoulder, and a lung puncture. Grand Prix Radio tweeted, Michael Bleekemolen is in hospital in Austria in response to the sad accident involving the Dutch driver. Even with medications, he is in a great deal of agony. Michael, good luck. Also wishing him a speedy recovery was Euro NASCAR. This accident, which was the second of its kind this month, mercifully did not result in death like the one that involved Ken Block earlier in the month. The NASCAR community laments the passing of Ken Block. The heartbreaking news of American rally racer Ken Block's accident made headlines earlier this month. The well-known driver and YouTuber was killed after a snowmobile landed on top of him in Wasatch County, Utah, due to a steep slope. Block was driving through the slope in Utah when he was struck by the vehicle and pronounced deceased at the scene. Block was on his own when the accident occurred, according to information provided by the neighborhood sheriff's office. According to Autosport, the sheriff's office issued the following statement in response to the accident. The driver, Kenneth Block, age 55, a male from Park City, Utah, was riding a snowmobile on a steep hill when the snowmobile overturned and landed on top of him. His accident-related injuries caused his death, which was confirmed at the spot. Meanwhile, let's check who are the top options to replace Kevin Harvick at Stuart Haas Racing. A driver may only reasonably expect to compete for race victories, playoff berths, and championship round appearances on an annual basis with a small number of NASCAR organizations. In the event that such a chance arises, one that could change one's career, that ride becomes sought after due to the opportunities it presents. One of those premier companies is Stuart Haas Racing. Tony Stewart and Gene Haas's team has won two championships in the past 12 years, matching Joe Gibbs Racing's total and trailing only Hendrick Motorsports with four and Team Penske with three in this time frame. And now that Kevin Harvick has announced last week that he will retire after the 2023 season, SHR's number four vehicle needs a driver to replace the vacant seat. But unlike most times when a team of the caliber of SHR has an opening, the field of potential replacements for Harvick doesn't seem to be as extensive as it often would be. While Kyle Busch and Tyler Reddick secured multi-year contracts with new organizations, Kyle Larson, William Byron, Christopher Bell, Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney, and Joey Logano all extended their contracts with their respective teams throughout the last year. Every single one of the aforementioned eight drivers would have been a deserving replacement for Harvick, giving SHR a driver with the skill to routinely contend for victories and championships. Furthermore, it seems to make sense that SHR would have been interested in hiring one of them to operate the number four had Harvick not hinted in January that 2022 would be his final race. Sadly, SHR is now faced with a limited selection of choices and the real possibility that it won't be able to find an A-tier replacement. What course does SHR take in light of the existing situation then? Well, the list of potential replacements looks very different from where it would have a year ago. The consensus is that strong possibilities still exist. The Athletic spoke to numerous experts within the NASCAR industry to determine who should be regarded as a realistic candidate. Ross Chastain's name came up the most. As his contract with Trackhouse Racing enters its final year, the renowned driver, one person called him a home run hire that would give SHR little drop-off on the performance side. 
uh, aiding his candidacy is the fact that he is a personality that appeals to sponsors, a potentially crucial element as it's unclear whether Harvick's longtime main sponsor, Anheuser-Busch, will continue its support or also depart. By winning two races and coming in second overall in 2022, Chastain showed what he is capable of when a team is behind him. But the real question is whether SHR is a sufficient improvement over Trackhouse to persuade the devoted Chastain to leave the group that gave him his big break. It's difficult to imagine Chastain letting go of his relationship with team owner Justin Marks in favor of one with an unknown organization where he might not fit as well. Despite being in the first year of a multi-year contract with the Legacy Motor Club that has undergone a name change, Jones was the second most frequently mentioned candidate. Jones's potential is undeniable, as seen by his two Southern 500 victories. He is capable of serving as a cornerstone around whom SHR can expand for the foreseeable future, and he is only 26 years old. A challenge, but not an impossible one, is posed by Jones's contract with Legacy. Contract buyouts are possible and do occur, as was the case last year when Reddick's contract with Richard Childress Racing was untangled by 2311 Racing for the last year of his deal. After all, this would require the desire of both Jones and SHR, and nothing is definite in this regard. What would be different this time around, since SHR previously had two chances to sign Jones but declined on both occasions? And after a difficult ending at the comparably large JGR, would Jones, who has made a home at Legacy where he has been seen as the main guy, want to once more experience life at a four-car behemoth? The choices are far less clear after you move past Chastain and Jones. With their respective teams, Hendrick and Trackhouse, Alex Bowman and Daniel Suarez have contracts that are coming to an end. However, it doesn't seem likely that they will escape their predicament. Suarez, who competed for SHR in 2019, is content at Trackhouse, while Hendrick and Sponsor Ally are pleased with Bowman. Even though anything can happen, a lot would have to unexpectedly alter for either to happen. Cole Custer or Riley Herbst, to both participate in the team's Xfinity Series program, could always be chosen by SHR if they wanted to stay in-house. To re-establish himself, Custer needs a dominant season in Xfinity after three cup seasons in which he mainly underperformed. Herbst has made 109 Xfinity starts in his career, but has never recorded a victory. His inclusion on SHR's roster is based more on his financial contribution than his performance. Zane Smith, the current champion of the Truck Series, is another driver to keep an eye on in the lesser categories. As Ford-supported SHR goes through this process, it is impossible to deny the fact that he is a part of the Ford program. The 23-year-old is praised for having a fluid driving style that doesn't encourage overdriving, which is a quality you don't often see in young drivers. He is seen as a top prospect. A year or two long stopgap might be in place if SHR is unable to find a long-term solution. Michael McDowell's a name that comes up frequently while describing this situation. With little resources, the veteran has accomplished a lot with Front Row Motorsports, winning the Daytona 500 in 2021 and setting records in top 10 finishes, laps led, average starting position, and average finishing position the previous year. He would probably perform admirably on a dominant squad, and SHR could do much worse than having McDowell act as a link. Moreover, it is a very real risk that SHR will choose a candidate who is not on this board and is unanticipated. After all, what were the chances that Kyle Busch wouldn't re-sign with JGR and join the team who is controlled by the person who hit him once upon a time? Yet that improbability has come to pass. Who will be driving the SHR number 4 vehicle in 2024 will undoubtedly be the main plot until a choice is made, regardless of the course Stewart and Haas take. Meanwhile, in his NASCAR career, Joey Logano reveals who gave him a brutal reality check. Starting with Joe Gibbs Racing in 2008, Joey Logano's journey in the NASCAR Cup Series began. He was the youngest driver in the history of the Cup Series when he entered at age 18. He did, however, come to realize something as he moved up to the highest level of American stock car racing. The current Team Penske driver discussed getting a reality check during his early Cup Series run when speaking to David Gravel during an interview. Well, it's funny. I mean, God gives you what you need sometimes. And I needed I needed a bit of a reality check. My whole career, I relied on my talent and it was enough. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. It was it was good enough to go out there and win races. I was the youngest everything growing up. 
winning everything. I'm like, all right, well, I must be pretty freaking good, right? And I started drinking my own Kool-Aid, right? Like I was, I was believing every bit of it until I got to the level that everybody was good and they were, and these people worked hard and they were experienced and, and that was the reality check of like, uh-oh. Like the guys I used to make fun of on Sundays because they were running 35th or laying black marks off the corner, right? They're just laying two rear tires, smoking them off the corner in front of me, driving away from me in less of a car than I was in. And I was like, oh, I suck. I mean, like, yeah. that's kind of what came down. I was like, I'm not good. It got to the point of where, like, you don't know what you don't know. You got to first figure out where, where you're off. Yeah. And it was everywhere, right? So, like, it's like trying to figure out, okay, how do I make speed at wore out surface racetracks? How do I get better at mile and a half? How do I work on my short track stuff? How did my road course stuff get better? Like, it, and it was how do I, you know, work on how the, the race plays out and the strategy of it and what I'm going to need from practice to the race and all these things that I never thought of. Like I literally just got in the car and drove and I was, I could win. That was it. I never thought about all the details of what makes a great race car driver. And, and that's, I needed that, right? Cause that brought the, the cocky, arrogant, young Joey Logano that knew everything back to reality. And that feeling I, I always remember, and it's what drives me today, right? That that feeling of failure, being that close and getting beat and realizing that I'm not that good uh, is what I needed, right? And I remember today. So to this day, I still don't think I'm that good. So I have to outwork everybody. Like that's that's what I feel like I have to do. I have to be out and be a smarter race car driver than my competitors. Somehow, one way or another, I have to find that as my strength because my talent, yeah, it's decent. And I think I'm... I'm Quick, I could do that stuff, but I feel like I'm the smartest driver out there, and and that's because I put the work in to do that. And I wasn't at first, and because I figured that I, like I said, it was good enough when I was young. It's just not anymore. And that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos.